a baler. That's a baler? Oh, yep, that's a baler. Talon Kapsner is in heaven. He's with his grandma on a hayride, touring a Minnesota dairy farm. I think it's more important for the tours to happen, for um, children and for adults to come and see once. What is uh, the modern dairy farm family? What happens here? This is where you get your milk from, is these cows. Um, better say hi, Mama Cow. Hi, Mama Cow. The Millers are proud of what the family has built here at Enchanted Dairy. But that's not why they take the time to give tours. They always say, oh, those, you know, factory farms or whatever. But no, this is a family farm. It's owned by the Millers. It's the way of life now. Make no mistake, the way of life here is nothing short of extraordinary. 1,600 dairy cows milked three times a day, plus 2,000 acres of field work growing corn and alfalfa. You could forgive the Millers if they didn't take time to offer the tours, but Ron says it's important for the future of dairy. So the tours help people see what's happening on the farm and allows them to feel more comfortable with what happens out there on that farm. So what do we got to do to get more bedding in there? As general manager of Enchanted Dairy, Ron has chosen a very open management style to drive the farm's mission statement, growing for the future. He and his brother Marv own the farm and share in the decision making. Marv is in charge of farm equipment and crop production. Wife Jeannie manages the books and the employees. And daughter Brooke is now involved in caring for the calves. But Brooke wasn't always sure she wanted to be a part of the dairy. Growing up, my dad's always like, you're going to take over the farm someday. I'm like, no, I'm going to go to the city, you know, be a city girl, wear the high heels. And But after living there, I it just, like I said, it made me really appreciate home. And I miss being outdoors and with the animals. An aggressive management program has added 600 cows to the farm in the past seven years, all from internal growth. In fact, growth and the future are considered in just about every decision made on Enchanted Dairy. A nutritionist visits the farm regularly to test the silage in an effort to guarantee maximum feed quality for the cows. We could work with the guy feeding. We yep. could ask him to run the mixture a little bit longer. Veterinarian Matt Boyle does pregnancy checks and tends to the health and comfort of the herd. He has high praise for the millers. I can honestly say I have not worked on a dairy that tries harder to do the right thing every time for the cow and in terms of the decisions that they make that eventually affect the food that they're making. Enchanted Dairy is a business, to be sure. In fact, the cows are often referred to as business partners. It's something the millers take very seriously because to them, it's all about feeding the world. Agriculture is producing a raw product from the soil, the sun, the land. It's really nice to be part of that industry that can take the product all the way from the ground to the kitchen table. That's what agriculture is, is feeding the world. I take pride in every day I will come to the farm to, to know that I'm part of agriculture and agriculture is it is key to to uh, the future of the nation. Yeah, what my parents have done here is it's amazing. Now that I'm older, I respect them so much more and understand all the lessons they taught us in the past about working hard and they're setting up big shoes to fill for the future. She always thought she was a city girl at heart and I always knew she was a country girl and I myself am very proud to see that she has made that choice and that she will be our future to carry on Enchanted Dairy. I take time every morning to thank the Lord for being here in central Minnesota, being a dairy farmer. You know when you lay down and you finally get a chance to lay in bed, you just say, boy am I ever thankful 
for being in this place. <laughs>